Right, everyone. Hey, hey we've hit Sog. Uh, exploring Carl. Urban legend here. We just came across this church. Right, you see here. Found a... Like a, Some sort of crypt or... Enclosement. That's been broken open. Nothing in there really. But yeah, it looks like over the time it's been quietly damaged some of this place. But they put this fence up around it to protect what's left. Right, we're actually inside the what is the church now? Or what's left of it? And I believe this is had connections to the gangsters of Manchester back in the 90s, early 2000s. And if we find any information on it, on it, I'll show you now. But yeah. All the rest of it's gone. So, I'll try and find out what happened to the church as well. Let's go down a little bit further back and you'll see the back end, the back wall. If you look up there, you can see the old doorway. Yeah. And what looks like the back wall now, back end of the church. I wonder when the last time the bells rang in this place. And this is what you get down there, the underground crypt, first sight of it. Go. Exploring the canal there, the sog couldn't make it for some reasons. Uh, so, one man down, and one man down in the crypt at the moment. Sorry about the noise of the traffic. It looks pretty spooky from here at least now. Let's turn the light on. Hopefully you can see a bit better now. To your left as you come in, there's a couple of stones. It's like a brick floor. And you got like this white, I'd say fungus coming off the roots, all dripping through with the water. And there's some sort of pipe work going on here. And we'll go in this first room. names. Just turn the light down so you can read them a bit better. 
This song's a bit daft, but let's. It's sometimes always better. And there's a cool icon light. What's left of one? But if you look at his brickwork, it goes round. I don't know what's down there. So you can actually see the wooden door frame where it would have been on that one. So we'll come back out and continue left. Avoid in these pipes. We'll come to another one. You can actually see where the hinges used to be there. There's another stone. Old pot or something there. Yeah. What you see there, it's got all the stone shelving in and stuff. And then back to your right, we hit the firewall. And then, what's this? There's bits of broken stuff all over. And you've got like these hooks coming from the ceiling. I suppose that would have been for the pipes. But look, look at these roots coming all the way down and start to go underground there. All that way over there. And that is an old clothes standing for a shop or something. Like little windows. Greystone was there. Hope that's picking up for you. There's another vessel or something broken. Maybe an urn or something. So we're now in the opposite corner from where we came in. And you got another arch. up in the past, that window or whatever it was. And I assume this is another crypt 
two clips maybe. Look at that on the side there, that could have been divided between the two. There we've got some more names. Brush, airbrush. And then this one is not as bright. Basically, that other one's been painted white and reflects the light quite well. Where this one's been kept dark on top of a lamp or something Hopefully all the coffins and bodies and people who've passed away that were down here have been moved on to a better place now. Hence, there's no coffins or anything left here, which is a good really. You've got to respect your dad. An old style chair there. And now we've gone from that corner to the right side. There are sheets there and stuff. It does look like the roof came down there a bit at one point. The roof reinforced it. And there's the entrance way. There's an old uh, coke can in the end one down there. Ah, I didn't see that. Yeah. There's a sell-by date on this one. <laughs> There's a few stones here, but I can't see no names on them. Or nothing. 
But look at that metal, metal piece of deco. Oh, carved out. Pretty cool to see that. And as you go to this one room on your left, there's one on your right. As you go through there, there's the rooms here left. And there's an old bike wheel there, bike room. So let's go on into the last room. To your left. Yeah, a couple of years of being here took a while. Uh, bits of turn this on better. Iron stuff, iron workings. And then to your right, like Carl says, oh no, well, I can. And the uh, old drinks can tango. Looks like a few parts of the car here, eh? mud flap, and you got your distributor cap. Bit of some bobs in there. Oh yeah, copper thieves. Well that's probably why it's good. All the coffins and stuff have been taken out. Because don't want uh, grave robbers coming in. Hello, Foxy. So basically, this is the length of the church or what was above us. And this is the right hand side wall as we come in. Pretty much the same as the left hand side. But it leads back to where we came out, or came in, should we say. Yeah. Uh, it's my first crypt I've done. So it's one of the reasons I wanted to do a crypt because I can tick it off the list. Shoe there. And yeah, it smells a bit uh, like someone's had a fire just here. So yeah. Stay safe till next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.